welcome to another training session of tia portal in today's session we will see how we can read the status word of the g120 drive via profibus dp in my previous session we have discussed how we can connect g120 drive with the s7 300 plc using tia portal and in this session we have discussed how we can write the control word of the g120 drive with the 7300 plc and how we can run a motor using g120 and the s7300 plc today's session is a continuation of the previous uh, session and in today's session we will see how we can read the status words of the g120 drive and how we can use them in our programming before proceeding i must say that please subscribe to my channel and do comments in the comment section so as you can see that I have opened the previous project for the G120 drive in the TIA portal and so to read the status word of the G120 drive first we will go to the devices and networks we will open the G120 drive and here we can see that we have used the standard telegram with two status word and two control word and today we will be discussing the status words so the control words of the vfd will be the q addresses and and the status word of the vfd are the i addresses the status word 258 is the actual frequency or the speed reference of the vfd the status word i256 is the status word of the vfd this means that it contains the bits that shows the actual condition and actual operation of the vfd so now we will go to the fc1 okay and here we have to write some code to read the status words so first of all we will go to the input section and here we will add two new rows the first one will be the status word of the vfd okay and this word as we have discussed will be containing the bits to indicate the current operation or the current state of the vfd and the data type for this status word will be the word And as you can see that this word is here okay whatever the data coming from this vfd will comes into this word and the next we will insert a new row here and we will write the status word to read the frequency to read the frequency or the speed reference of the vfd so this we can write name here frequency speed word and the data type for this is also word now we have created the two words one of them will be the status word and the other one is also a status word but it will be used to read the frequency now in the output section we will create two more words and we will transfer the data from the status word of the vfd to to the output word so that we can use these words in our programming so first of all we will make an output word with name actual speed the next thing is the status bits okay these these bits will be used to indicate the actual condition of the vfd and it's also word now we will go to the network 5 and we will write here actual speed or reference okay and here we will use move command now as discussed earlier we will select frequency speed word and we can drag and drop it on the input and for the output we will simply drag and drop actual frequency speed and 
now whatever data is in the frequency speed word it will be moved into the actual frequency speed word now in the network 6 we will write the code to transfer the status bits to the output word Now, same way we will use a move command here and we will drag and drop the status word of the VFD in the input and for the output we will simply drag and drop status bits of the VFD word. Whatever the data is coming in the status word of the VFD will go to the status bits of the VFD. Okay. Now, we will go to back to the OB1 and as you can see that there is something wrong with this block now so we have to update the block call here we just click update and as you can see that right now it is showing these input and output words here the first is frequency speed status word of the vfd and as you as we have seen earlier that the f actual speed or reference of the vfd is updating in the status word piw258 now the status word of the VFD, the, sp the status word of the VFD is PIW256. And now by using the move command, the data is coming here in, in these two words. Now we have to assign some memory words so that we can use them in the program. So for the actual speed, we will use memory word 10. And for the status bits of the VFD, we will use memory word 20. Now the actual speed will come in the memory word 10 and we can check the status bits of the VFD in the memory word 20. We can rename our tags so that we can use them easily. Now as you can see that the status bits of the VFD are coming in the memory word 20. So whatever happening in the VFD, it will be reflected in the memory word 20 by, a, by manipulating its bits. So as you can see that our, this is the data register and it has 15 bits. So as we know that the memory word has two bytes inside. So it is starting first byte is up to the 0 to 7 and the second byte is starting from 8 to 15 as you can see that if we want to see that our VFD is running without any fault the bit is a bit number 2 if the bit number 2 is 1 this means that the operation is enabled so this means that VFD is running without any problem if we want to use this bit in our programming we have to use the bit number 2 of the memory word 20 so we will go to the network 2 and we can use any normally open contact we will use m20.2 so this means that it is the bit number 2 of the memory word 20 same way we can use other bits as per our requirement in the programming it can be mem m20.3 m20.4 m20.5 okay right now we are using the m20.2 which is the operation enabled we can write we can rename this bit as vfd operation enabled and Now to complete this run, we will put a dummy coil here, which is M100.01 use bit. Now we are ready and we will load this program in our VFD.
and as you can see that the right now the frequency status word is showing a zero because our VFD in stop condition and the status word is showing some data yeah. is showing some data if we go to the network 2 as you can see that right now our VFD is stopped so that's why it is normally open As you can see that if I triggered the start bit or motor starts uh, running and it, the current frequency or the reference is also reflected in memory worth 10. And if I change the reference, you can see that it is also gets updated in this status world also. And now if we change more, let's change it to 2000 as you can see that it is now slowly ramping up and it goes to the 2000 and or and if we go to the network 2 as you can see that our enable bit is also on so this means that and if we trigger the stop bit and motor start ramping down and as you can see that right now the motor is ramping down and now it is stand still and VFD operation enabled bit is also becomes open so this is how we can use the status words of the G120 drive in our programming and this is the method which I have used which is very very basic and very simple method to make you guys understand how the things are going and in the next videos, we will use some more complex and more professional techniques to communicate with the G120 drive. And before leaving, I must say that please go to my channel and check the other videos which I have created over the last one year. And I hope you will find them interesting. And please subscribe to my channel. And till next video, take care and goodbye.